My favorite drill I call the angle of repose. Uh, the angle of repose is the angle of your sternum. Uh, standing with your heels together and feet displayed about five or ten degrees uh, outward, like Charlie Chaplin. Then tilt your sternum or spine about ten degrees uh, to the right of horizontal away from the target. And then this angle is one of repose. Repose can mean a state of tranquility. I would like you to be tranquil. And as a verb, it can mean to stay in one place or to be stationary or to be kept in one place. So once you've established this angle of repose, uh, learn how to uh, jiggle or rattle some dice as if you're about ready to tumble them. And then see if you can uh, tumble them toward the inside back corner of the ball. And then you can take a, a foam dice uh, and uh, act like you're going to rattle that dice and then tumble the dice. A tossing, tumbling motion right at the inside back of the ball. And try to maintain your angle of tranquil repose. Then I'd like you to take a Varden grip, start out with neutral, and a well-fitted club, and adopt the angle of repose with the ball right in the middle of your heel. Your repose will place your head or situate your head in a calm manner over your right leg to the right of the ball. And then raise your left heel and draw your left foot back and maintain this angle of repose as you swing your arms fluidly through the ball. And you see I haven't lost the angle of repose. I'm still tr tranquil. And you may find you need to bring the arms and club back to their starting point or bring them back in front of you and rest them in front of your belly button. So the angle of repose. And learn to tumble the dice from this angle of repose. This will lead you to be able to walk to another ball right after you've struck one ball from the angle of repose. And you could hit literally hundreds of balls as if you were a conveyor belt assembly line walking this way and striking golf balls consistently that way as you did. Thanks.